Hi there and welcome back to Tyburn Road and today we're going to look at um, wiring up uh, point motors um, to make them operational. So I'm assuming that you uh, have fitted your point motor to the underside of the baseboard here that you've slotted the little armature through the, the hole in your baseboard and through the connecting hole on the point. So we're, we're going from that point forward. So having fitted the um, point motor, um, the next thing that I choose to do is again use these three part chalk blocks um, rather than trying to solder upside down under my baseboard. And it's fairly straightforward. So the left wire, the red wire, goes into the left part of the chop block. The central wire, the black wire, the common wire, goes into the central part. And as you would expect, the right wire, the green wire, goes into the right part of the chop block and you can see it here next to the CDU which is the capacitor discharge unit and that's the next thing I need to talk about. So the capacitor discharge unit ensures a strong pulse of power to the point motor when you operate the switch and looking at it the important bits here for me anyway are the four screw terminals from top to bottom they are power in positive power in negative power out positive power out negative so the first thing we're going to do is to connect the power out negative, that's position four, the lowest screw terminal. We're going to connect a black wire from that to our first point chalk block and then daisy chain it from there to every single common connection on every point so that you've effectively got a continuous run from the CDU to every point under your baseboard. So the first thing to do then is to uh, insert a wire into the fourth position, power out negative from the CDU. So wire a little black wire into there and then that goes into position four. And then we measure from this point motor to the chock block for the next point motor, the distance and cut a piece of wire sufficiently long to bridge that gap, strip the ends and then we twist that new piece of wire we've cut to the small piece coming from the CDU and wire it into the first chalk block. So you have a wire going from the CDU into the chalk block and then a wire coming back out of the chop block, traveling on to the next point motor chop block and so forth. You daisy chain all the way through every single point motor. Which is something I've tried to show in this last rather fuzzy image. So from the top of the screen, you can see the black wire going into the first point motor and coming back out and then daisy chaining down to the next one and we will repeat that process by inserting another wire into this second chalk block and going on to the next point motor and so forth and so on. That's it for setting up the common wire um, and we'll move on to the rest of the wiring process in the next video. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.